Choices play a very important role in our lives. We see that at every point of time or the other, we are making some kind of choice or the other. Now we see that if we look at today's world, acceptance and denial is something that we commonly see. Because if I want to make myself present to one thing, it means that I am making myself absent to the other things. Similarly, when I accept one thing, I am denying the others around. And that is why we see that choices or decisions that we take play a very important role in our lives. That is why Jesus places a lot of emphasis on discernment, discerning well, looking at all the consequences before we make any decision. Because there are certain decisions which cannot be reversed. And therefore, we need to be very careful before choosing between this and that. And therefore, when it comes to making choice, today Jesus says you need to be wise, need to be careful. Similarly, in today's first reading from the letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul tells the people of Aphasia that they need to be committed to the Lord. In a way, St. Paul tries to narrate to the people of Ephesia how the Lord has been merciful and grateful to them. He tries to show all the wondrous deeds that the Lord has done. And in this way, he motivates them to be committed. In today's Gospel passage, we see that Jesus will say that the sin against the Holy Spirit is one that is the greatest. And therefore, as we read today's Gospel passage, Jesus says, the Holy Spirit will teach you and guide you. And how are we supposed to understand this? And why did Jesus say this in this particular context? Well, let's find that out during today's episode of Tea Time with the Word. But before we can begin our reflection, let us take a look at the readings for Saturday in the 20th week in Ordinary Time. Today's first reading is from the letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 15 to 23. And the Gospel is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 8 to 12. In a way, today's readings will tell us that we need to make the proper choices in life. As we saw earlier, when we make a particular choice, we accept one thing, we deny the other. That is why we need to be very alert. We need to look at all the consequences before making decisions. And that is why the Spirit guides us. It shows us the right things to do. And therefore, we need to be attentive to the promptings of the Spirit. The Lord communicates things to us in various ways. It could be through people, it could be through events. And therefore what is important is being attentive to what is happening to the world around us. Now in today's first reading, St. Paul tells the people of Ephesia that they need to be thankful to the Lord. They need to be grateful for all the wonderful things that the Lord has done. In a way he enumerates the various wonderful things. And in this way, he urges the people to remain committed, to remain dedicated to the Lord. Now, in today's Gospel passage, we see that St. Luke portrays Jesus as a person who is very hard on certain things. When it comes to truth, when it comes to being original, there are no compromises. Generally, in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus is portrayed as a kind, forgiving and open-hearted. But in today's Gospel, we see that Jesus uses the strong word, unforgivable sin. And we may ask, what is this unforgivable sin? Well, it is the sin against the Holy Spirit. It is the sin against someone who has come all the way from heaven in order to guide us, in order to protect us in order to show us the right path. 
And we see that people in today's world have become so much spiritually blind that they no longer are able to discern between what is good and what is evil. When confronted with a choice, we see that people tend to select something that is not good. And why is this so? It is because of spiritual blindness. And you may ask, how does this spiritual blindness come about? Well, we see in today's world, we tend to get caught up with all the things that the world tends to offer. And because it is attractive, because it may seem appealing, we tend to get carried away by it. But we know that the ways of the world and the ways of the kingdom are completely different. And therefore what happens is that we get caught up with the ways of the world, we continue doing things according to the logic of the world and thus we miss out on the things of the kingdom. We end up choosing the wrong things. We get influenced by others, we get deceived by others because we are not attentive to what the Lord is trying to communicate to us through his various signs. And therefore, we need to be attentive to the promptings of the Spirit. The Spirit has been sent in order to protect us, in order to help us make decisions, in order to show us the right path. And we need to be attentive to the Spirit. Now, we see that in today's world, people are no longer able to see sin as sin. Somehow this kind of a chalta hai attitude has become. It is like, okay, we'll do this. It's okay. You know, life will go on. This kind of an attitude has somehow developed. And therefore, even things that may have seemed very wrong, somehow tend to be accepted, tend to be ignored. In a way, we see that Jesus speaks about those who are permanently sunk in their sins and as a result, they fail to see one tiny sparkle of diamond, one tiny sparkle of light that basically comes from the Holy Spirit. They are so much caught up in darkness that they prefer to remain in the dark. They are so accustomed to the dark that they want to be in the dark. And therefore Jesus today invites all of us not to be in that state. He asks us to become aware of the presence of the Spirit in our lives. And down history, we see that there are many hard-hearted people who were not loyal to God. To guide the wavered sheep, God sends the Holy Spirit, the Advocate. And the Holy Spirit was there, who was being with the people and guiding the people. Today, as we live in a scientific era, there is a lot of emphasis on independence, there is a lot of emphasis on individualism. And therefore, we all want to do things our way. In this way, we see that the gospel teaches us not to deny the Holy Spirit. Even though we may rely on gadgets, some of them may be useful. But Jesus says that it does not mean that you completely abandon yourself from the Lord. It doesn't mean that you no longer become aware and pay attention to the promptings of the Spirit. Because we see that the Spirit is the advocate. He is the one who has been sent to be with us, to show us the way, to show us what is good and what is evil. And when we fail to imbibe the fruits of the Holy Spirit, like peace, love and joy, we then tend to be victimized and we fall prey to evils such as fornication, enmity and jealousy. And therefore it is a call for all of us today to be attentive to the Spirit and to live life in the Spirit. And for this it is necessary to listen to Him in our hearts and also to reflect the wonderful deeds of the Lord. And therefore as we reflect on today's readings, let us pray for the grace that we may be attentive to the promptings of the Spirit and that we may do everything in accordance with what Jesus wants us to do, that we may place our lives and live our lives in accordance with the gospel values. Amen.